Okay, CTFXC, everything is illuminated. You know, after watching this movie, I think I could have come up with a better movie title than that. I think the movie should have been called Everything is Bagged. If you know what I mean. Okay, this movie came out in 2005. It's rated PG-13, and the main character, Jonathan, is played by Elijah Wood. He's an American Jew who, had, who has an obsession with his family history. He even has a wall dedicated to his obsession, filled with old photographs and um, these little bags filled with random items or clues leading to his family heritage. Okay, this movie is divided into four chapters of Jonathan taking a, a trip to UK, Ukraine to find out more information on his grandfather's history because he escaped the Nazis during World War II. Okay, so he gets to Ukraine and he gets this translator who at times, I think, could be a member of Run DMC. And his translator's grandfather, who just confuses me pretty much almost throughout the entire movie, because he says he's blind, but he's not. And don't forget, the translator's grandfather is the driver for this journey. So, you know, that was kind of, I don't know, it just threw me off. But anyway, he also has this dog named Sammy Davis Jr. Jr., which I think is the real blind one. And the funny thing about naming the dog Sammy Davis Jr. Jr. is that Sammy Davis Jr. was a very well-known Jew, and supposedly the translator's grandfather hates Jews, so <laughs> that was just kind of ironic. Okay, so they all get in this tiny little car to go look for Jonathan's past. And they start going from town to town, you know, getting different flashbacks from different characters, so you can start kind of putting the pieces to the puzzle of how the story kind of, you know, unfolds. One of my favorite parts throughout the movie, as they're doing this journey and they're going from town to town, you know, the grandfather's driving, the translator's sitting up front, and you got, you know, Jonathan in the back, and they're up there talking in the Ukrainian language, and, you know, Jonathan's back there not understanding anything that's going on. So they're up there bad-mouthing, talking about Jonathan, about how he's stupid and how he's weird, and Jonathan just sitting back there going, Hey, what do you say? And his translator says, Oh, he just says, Look at the scenery around you. He's talking about, you know, we'll be there soon. Just lying straight to his face. Cause <laughs> See, that's why I don't want to be around some language that I don't understand. Because I feel like <laughs> they'll be talking about me. I don't know. I think everybody has that fear of being around, you know, something you don't understand. You, you always feel like they're talking about you. Which, in this case, <laughs> they were. So, all in all, I think this movie is about understanding and forgiveness. You know, to kind of sum, sum it up. The end of the movie just kind of blew my mind because I don't understand why the grandfather did what he did. And I'm not going to, you know, spoil it for you, but I just don't understand. So if you understood the purpose and the reasoning of what he did, leave a comment down below because I would love to know. I just got kind of confused at that point. But anyway, I give this movie a 3 out of 5 stars. It's one of those movies where you at least need to watch once. Maybe not to go buy the movie, but at least watch it once. Maybe twice in your lifetime, but... Once is probably enough for me. So until next time, oh wait, before I forget. There we go. Alright, CTFXC, thanks for the recommendation, and we'll see you next time.